നവംബർ ഫസ്റ്റ് വെനസ് ഡേ വൺ ഡേ എ ഡിസൈപ്പിൾ ആസ്റ്റ് ഈസ് മാസ്റ്റർ ഹാവ് യു അറ്റൈൻഡ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഹോളിനെസ് ഹൗ വുഡ് ഐ നോ ആസ് ദ മാസ്റ്റർ If you wouldn't, who would? The answer of the Guru was, If you ask a normal person whether he is normal, he will assure you he is. If you ask that of a mentally disturbed person, he would give you the same answer. Then, he smiled and continued if you admit that you are insane you really are not are you if you think you are holy you really aren't are you holiness is something that a person is holy unaware of today is all saints day a holy day recognized by the catholic church and by various protestant denominations who are the saints in his letter to the ephesians saint paul addresses the letters recipients as God's holy people or another translation is to the saints which are at Ephesus. The English word saint comes from the Latin sanctus which means holy. So saints are holy people by definition but what does it mean to be a holy person a saint from a biblical perspective something is holy when it is set apart for god and god's purposes so An animal to be sacrificed to the Lord is holy because it is designated for this special function. In Exodus 19, God set apart the Israelites as his own treasured possession. They would be a holy nation. through which god would make himself known to the world in the new testament believers in jesus christ are referred to as saints or holy people because they have inherited israel's divinely conferred status as people set apart by god for him and for his saving purposes if you have put your faith in jesus christ you are a saint you are a holy person this does not necessarily say anything about your worthiness to receive this title or your exemplary lifestyle however you are a saint because god has chosen you to belong to him and his people he has set you apart so that you might participate in his redeeming work in the world the saints in heaven are entrusted 
with the important task of intercession. Sure, God already knows all our needs and he could ask us to go directly to him in our prayers. But the truth is that God wants to use the intercession and therefore the mediation of the saints in our lives. He uses them to bring our prayers to him and in return to bring his grace to us. They become powerful intercessors for us and participators in God's divine action in the world. The saints also give us a model of holiness. The charity they lived on earth lives on. The witness of their love and sacrifice was not just a one-time act in history. Rather, charity is living and continues to have an effect for the good. Therefore, the charity and witness of the saints lives on and affects our lives. This charity in their lives creates a bond with us, a communion. It enables us to love them, admire them, and want to follow their example. It is this, coupled with their continuing intercession, that establishes a powerful bond of love and union with us. Wishing you a happy feast, Father Paul, CSSR from Kerala.